Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back. Today I'm going to be making a few preps, just a few. If I can get this camera right. I'm gonna be able to get it to where y'all can see everything. So I'm gonna do a few preps today. We're gonna do a chickpea salad, and it's gonna be something I can eat on today and tomorrow. And you know, if the kids wanna eat it for a dip, that's fine. And then we're gonna do um, like a pico salsa, and then possibly like a bean salsa to go on top of our salads or whatever. So we're gonna start off with um, two cans of garbanzo beans. I'm gonna rinse these real quick and toss them in here. All right, so let's get started. Um, I'm just going to use the food processor, or what you want to call this, just for the chickpeas. Everything else, I'm going to chop finely um, by hand and just toss it um, into a bowl right here. So, let me do this real quick. I'm going to scrape the sides down. It takes longer if I do this by hand. That's why I like to use the um, the food processor. I don't like it to be too mushy. Um, I like it still has some texture, as if it was like you know tuna or whatever. So everything's in here. Let me see if I can bring y'all down some, just a little bit. I hope y'all can see. And now we're gonna start um, layering. This is how I layer. I like to uh, put green onions. Even if I was making tuna for the kids, I would toss green onions in here. This is probably like a half a cup of purple onions, red onions. I'm just going to toss that in there. All right, let's put some uh, sea salt in this thing. I need to refill my container. So I'm just using uh, one teaspoon for now. Only because I'm going to add some... Um, seaweed and it has sea salt in it all right so i'm gonna add garlic powder just a shake of garlic powder and then i'm gonna add a little bit of chili flakes for my heat because um i really wanted to add a jalapeno but i think tara might want some she likes this chickpea salad too and i don't want um <clears throat> oh that's a lot i have about five of these and it's just gonna give it that seafood like flavor like that tuna flavor and I'm just gonna crumble them in here. That's all I'm gonna do is crumble them in here, just like this. It's just seaweed. Um, it's just gonna give it the flavor of tuna. All right, so we're gonna start with one fourth of a cup of the uh, vegan mayo, only because um, I don't really measure, y'all. I just kinda like scoop it in here. So I'm gonna try to measure this time when I'm doing these videos for y'all, so y'all don't know, okay? That's not enough, so I'm gonna do another scoop, <laughs> which is like a heaping. <laughs> So that's like two. Let's do like a two to one ratio. Well, we'll do like one, uh, one fourth of the mustard. Um, and let's just see how that goes. Okay. And then we're just going to combine everything together. You know, like you would do tuna. If you want to add like um, boiled eggs, if you eat boiled eggs, you can add that. Tara likes boiled eggs in hers. Um... I really don't. I could care less, to be honest. Okay, so this is pretty much perfect. So I guess my heapings are pretty much one-fourth of a cup when we do that. What is that? Oh, it's the dishwasher. I'm like, what is that you in the camera? So this is what this looks like. Pretty much like tuna. It smells like tuna, actually, with that seaweed in it. I have two pieces of bread. I just threw it in the air fryer for a quick uh, minute just to warm it up. This is the bakery bread from HEB. It is the rosemary sourdough um, golden grain bread. Y'all, this is so freaking good. So anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and make me a sandwich really quickly here. I'm starving. It is what it is. I'm always hungry. I think y'all already know this. So, yeah. Um... Let me just. I have these um, HEB. I took the kids chips, the sour cream chips. I stole their chips. So don't tell them. I'm just going to put a few on the plate. And this is pretty much what I'm going to eat today. For lunch. And this is my chickpea salad sandwich. Y'all, this is so freaking good. I'm just saying. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, see, I didn't eat that much salt at all. I actually could have used less salt. 
Um, so I'm going to put this in here so we can have this either for later or whenever. So that is the chickpea salad and it's real simple. Just season to your taste. Whatever season you like, season to your taste. This is the seaweed I normally buy. This is the one kids like to eat. The sea salt one. There is one that's kind of spicy too. I don't know if it's sriracha or what, but I like to get this one. I'm just going to put this in a Ziploc. They're going to eat it <laughs> before the end of the day anyway. All right, so I normally would not do this. I'm kind of like hoping I don't mess this up. I don't like putting tomatoes in the um, processor because it kind of makes them mushy. And I don't like that mushy texture. So, okay, I'm going to wash this off. I like the pieces of the uh, tomatoes. I just washed these. I don't know if you can tell. They're wet. I'm going to just put them back in here. So I'm going to do some at a time. And that way, maybe if I do some at a time, they won't be like that. So I'm going to do half and half anyway because I need them for the um, both dishes that I'm making. So let's just do them all at one time. Yeah, see. Okay, so I'm going to have to do one like this and one not because this is going to annoy me. This is not going to work. Nope, 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 nope. No, 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 no. Yeah, see all this? Yeah, see how it's fuzzy like? I don't like that. I don't like it. So we now have two juicy, mushy messes. And so I'm going to go ahead and chop the rest and then add them to the containers. All right, I'm done. I'm going to put half in this container here. This other container. Oh, shoot. All right, so this other container. I'm going to drop some in here, too. Just splitting up that container I buy from Costco. That's all I'm doing. Because one is going to be like a pico salsa with cucumber. And the other one is like a um, spinach and bean-like salsa. So, yeah. Let's get started on the... Let's do the spinach and bean one first. All right. So, I'm going to add um, a heaping... What is this? Is this a tablespoon? I'm going to add a tablespoon. Well, you know, it's more than a tablespoon. Y'all already know it's more. <laughs> Come on now. Uh, garlic. Let's chop up some spinach. So this is going to be like our protein salad. It's like a protein um, cold salad. Um, high in protein and iron. That's what this salad is pretty much going to be. You can put this on top of um, like a regular chopped salad. You can put it on top of like a cold pasta salad. Or just eat it as is, as its own salad. Or just do it like a dip, like chips and dip or whatever. This is pretty much what this one will be for. Um, I know the kids like it with the chips. I like it on top of salads. <clears throat> and it provides you with a lot of iron. Um, you can rotate the spinach for kale. Just massage the kale real good so it's easier to digest. And um, yeah, I'm just going to chop it up a little bit. So it's not like huge chunks in the um, in the salad. Real simple. So I like fresh basil in cold salads. So I'm literally just gonna roll it up and um, chop it real fine. It'll just blend right in with the spinach. Girl, this mic's so sharp. Oh my god. So this is Thai basil. Y'all, this smells so freaking good. <laughs> Keep it simple. We're going to do one kidney and one black bean. Of course, we're going to drain these because we don't want any of the what's in this can in our uh, salad. Okay, so when I rinse my beans, I rinse them until the water runs clear. I don't want any of that at all that's in that um, mixture in the can in here. And now I have like half of like a small onion. Or maybe I just chop a whole. Well, it doesn't matter. I, I still got to use all this anyway, so it doesn't matter. So I'm going to use probably this much in here. Just so you know what's going in here. These utensils. All right, so this is pretty much everything except for the seasoning. Okay, I'm not doing a lot of salt at all. 
Nope. I'm probably going to put the lid on it and shake it up once I toss it a little bit. I didn't feel like getting any more dishes dirty. That's why I didn't get a separate bowl. But it's all good. We're just going to toss this a little bit. Okay. That's okay. Alright, so we have a lid here. Just going to put it on. And shake what your mama gave you, honey. Now, normally, I'm going to show you the dressing I would normally put on here. But this time I'm not going to add a dressing because I realized that last time when I added a dressing, my um, spinach was like a little bit wetter than I wanted it to be. But this is what the salad looks like. Beautiful, right? Healthy. Eat this with some chips or something. I don't have no tortillas with me right now, but yeah, that's this is it. But let me show you. You can always add like a vinegar oil type of situation to this. Like when you're ready to do it eat it then toss it in there and chop it up but just try not to do it before the end if it's going to sit in the fridge for a little bit and make sure you're using airtight containers so that um all your food stays fresh too okay all right let's get started on the second one and this time around instead of like basil and spinach we're going to do the greens they're going to be our cilantro that's what we're going to do this time around so we have our tomatoes here ready some that were chopped and some were mushed. <laughs> and let's get this off. I don't know why I didn't take this off when I washed them. So just if you want to know, um, I normally put the scraps into um, my compost. This cilantro right here, though, is going to my dog food. Yeah, of course like cilantro, y'all. Of course like everything we eat. How about that? One thing I had to stop doing was buying the rotisserie chicken though from the grocery store. That didn't work for him. He was like, oh no, ma'am, that's not good. So, yeah. So, two bunches, right? With the ends to the side for quests. Let me put this in a container. All right, so let's get this onion in here. Um. Just chop up what was left of the other onion. Girl, this knife is sharp. I gotta watch this thing. Make sure I don't cut my nails. I gotta get them done anyway. But I'm like, Lord, this thing cut anything. Like, literally anything. See, this is why I like my green onions in the refrigerator. I get so annoyed when people keep asking, why you put your green onions in the refrigerator? Girl, this is why, because we eat them cold. <laughs> All right, let's get this jalapeno in here. Um, am I going to take any of this out? Probably not. Um, I guess I'll take some of this out. So it don't be too hot. Um, I like heating my food. I think y'all know that already. Right? And I make it real fine as I can, y'all. So it's not like, um, and I'm probably going to do more than one of these. And I think about it because it's really not as much as you think it is with this big old container over here. All right, someone already cut this one, probably Tara. So it's like one and, you know, three, four, something like that, child. We're going to throw some cucumbers in this thing. Yes, I'm going to leave the skin on. Man, I can't wait, y'all. When I say I'm so excited about spring today, the high is like 70-something degrees. It started off at 40 or something, but I'm so freaking excited about spring. Like, I just want to grow all my food. With everything going on, we kind of need to be growing all our food. But I just want to grow all my food and just have those fresh tomatoes and those cucumbers. Like, I just absolutely love the smell of going outside and smelling my food outside. Um, you have to have a garden to understand what I'm saying. It's nothing like a cucumber that come off your garden and you walk in a house, sprinkle a little sea salt on it, and just eat it. Like... Girl, I love it. I should have got me a stool. I'm tired of standing. Okay. Ooh, Tara going to eat this up. Tara and Penny going to eat this one up. Because they ate up almost all that other salsa. Girl, that stuff is almost gone. That other salsa we made the other day. 
It don't last long anyway. I, I know it's not going to last long. I'm going to do probably half of one of these and just save this for their um, salads for um, their school lunches. I don't know if it's any more um, cuc cucumbers in the refrigerator. So I'm going to put that to the side for right now. All right, so last year I got an injection in my spine. No, girl, two years ago. It's been two years. It's been over two years, right? Injection in my, um, in the base of my neck and in my spine, my lower spine and my um, disc because of like the car accident and the pain I was going through. Well, it has worn off. So I am trying to eat as many anti-inflammatory foods as I can. And try not to go get a back procedure plus that because, yeah. So as long as I'm eating good, I'm drinking a lot of water, taking my vitamins, doing my pre and probiotics, and doing my yoga, I really don't have a lot of problems. But I noticed when I went out of town and we were gone for that week, right? I didn't do any of that stuff. And, um, I mean, I took some vitamins, but, but not really. Like, I would forget to take some. And um, did I do the salt already? I don't think so. And what happened was, when I, by the time I, I came back, y'all, my back was killing me. Like, killing me. So, um, yeah, I got to get back on it. Like, like literally feeling like it wasn't even connected to my lower half. And I can feel my disc. So, it's inflamed. It's not as big as it was, like, three days ago. It's so much better now. But I just don't want to take a lot of meds, and I don't want the shots. This is what this is looking like so far. So, I'm going to shake this one up, too. Most of the tomatoes at the bottom. Yeah, so I'm on this anti-inflammatory thing. I like to snack and eat a lot, you know, throughout the day, little snacks and stuff. So I figured let's make some healthy snacks together. Let's figure this thing out. And um, yeah, I have acupuncture coming up soon too. So I'll be doing that again. But this is like cilantro and cucumber, like um, salsa or toppers for your salad. Um, I like this with chips. I'll just eat this all day. Let me make sure it's seasoned enough. So we forgot to add garlic to this one. So we'll add some garlic. A heaping and a little bit of juice with that. No, this is not a heaping, girl. It's a whole tablespoon. I'm tripping. Okay. And let me get some chips. All right, got my Aldi chip. Okay, let's shake this up first. I feel like I'm missing something. Oh, lemon juice. Okay. Lemon or lime. So let me grab it. All right. So I hope y'all enjoying this video. If you are, please make sure you give me a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. I probably should have said that in the beginning that I'm Helen. And um, yeah, I like meal prepping, making you know, like dishes, like these, especially things that you can put as salad toppers so your salads aren't boring, or even with chips that people who like to snack, or um, you're like me and need to eat more anti-inflammatory foods. Um, yeah, just trying to find different options, that's all. And sometimes people don't want the regular salad or whatnot. Or they're just trying to find different ways to get more raw foods or more plant-based foods into their diet. I'm, I'm just here for it this spring and summer. I'm just ready. I need a change, definitely. I need a change in what's going on with my body. Um, it definitely helps with your thyroid too. And anytime you're trying to get protein and iron in your body, you know, raw foods is very good for you. And they're, you know, they're easy, easier to digest. And get something with a little bit of everything. So that's what this looks like. This is something I would just snack on. But this is what this looks like. I don't want a lot. Just a little bit more. Yeah, and that's it. That's all three that I wanted to share with you all today. This is the, um, once again, cilantro and the garlic, onion, cucumber, like salsa. 
can eat with chips, throw on salad, eat it as a salad, a fresh salad, toss it with some um, pasta noodles. Um, and of course, we have the one we just made, which is the spinach um, salad. And then, of course, the original, the tuna salad, which is a chickpea salad. So let me know which one that you are willing to try or which one you've tried before. So I've shown some of these before in the past. And let me know what you think about them. Um, or will you be trying them? If you do, please come over to Instagram and let me know which one you tried. And I will see you all next one. I hope you have an amazing day. Peace and blessings.